Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Sage Info, and this is just a quick video on a potential farming spot. Uh, we're going to be going to the moon and going to the Dark Beyond mission uh, because I'm not sure that this works too well during patrol. And uh, this isn't the opening the hive uh, loot cave thing, farming spot. Well, it's not so much a loot cave, it's more, well it almost is, when they come pouring out. Uh, but this farming spot is sort of like a work in progress, I just stumbled upon it. Um, I've only been there like three, four times. And each one of them was pretty short. But you basically, this I've put all this in, I've sped it all up, just in case you don't know how to get there and you've never done it before. But it's pretty straightforward, you just, just in case. Anyway. You have some enemies spawn here, take these guys out real quick and we're gonna get some a captain up here, take him out, these mates, and you'll end up with another ship, drops off some more, and you wreck that ship, and etc. This is always a good little nifty trick, <laughs> saw that the other day. Only one hit the ground there. And I just sort of skip through that. You can grab your sparrow now. Super fast. We're linked. And make sure you come to the right side, don't go to the left, the you have to turn around. Ignore these dudes, don't have to worry about these guys, unless you're able to do that. Awesome. And we come up to the big huge dish, big saucer looking thing. Look at that beast! Dude just spawns in out of nowhere. This is where he was headed. And once we get up here, the thing is, you don't want other people in your area for this. Um, it will stuff it up, unless they're standing right next to you, up into the, up, up in the spot. Then it's fine. Um, I had two people up in there with me, and it was working out fine. See this guy here? He eventually uh, ends up taking off, so we don't have to worry about him. But you just basically go back out the entrance. Um, you just exit out of the entrance that you came in. And we pop up over to here, and the spot is basically up on the left here. You just jump up on these rocks, there's a chest in your face normally, if you haven't been here before. And you just keep stepping left and touching the barrier. You just keep your, keep your shoulder and your feet on the barrier. Um, yeah, better change weapons because I don't have a scout rifle. There's Covert, he's a legend. And here we go. Now a lot of this is sped up, um, this isn't, uh, as I said, perfected yet. I'm still working out what you got to do with the dregs, how many you got to leave and how many you got to take out, because if you take them all out, they'll all spawn back in and it will slow down the servitors from spawning. And I came over here to see if there was one to clear out that was wrecking it, or stopping it from happening, and sure enough there wasn't. So I just jump up here, grab this chest as well. There's another chest there. And we just jump up here and yeah, rinse and repeat basically. Now you'll see that um, when I zoom in on the left one there, the dude just literally starts spawning in your face. Um, and there's a yellow knight dude with a big sword, one of those, one of those swords. They will slow down the process as well. Like you have to take them out and they don't spawn as often as the uh, servitors, as the balls. As you can see, see I'm getting uh, just touching the barrier there. After we take out this thing here, they just start spawning like mad. Um, to the point where you shoot one, you reload your rifle, zoom in, shoot the other dude, and by the time you've zoomed in with your sniper rifle again, the ball's back. And they spawn from both sides, which is handy as well. So, but it's totally up for experimentation. Uh, it's not a perfected it's not a perfected technique at all so basically just um, have fun with it if you work out how to totally nail it feel free to let me know in the comment section um, feel free to have a look at my channel I will be uploading some more stuff I finally got all my programs sorted out it's taken like 12 months um, but I've, uh, I've got a lot of stuff that I'm going to be putting on the channel it's going to be a lot of fun um, just a heap of funny clips and cool clips cool stuff that happens um, trippy moments, stuff like that, you know. But yeah, good luck with this, guys. And yeah, just experiment and have fun with it. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Catch ya.